Hi everyone, welcome again to our, actually it's our last session. Um, I'm sad, but I know that the Lord is going to open up other doors, so, but I'm excited what is to come. Um, if you guys are seeing a little bit of tears in my eyes, is because um, I just got the news in regards to uh, one of our prayer, me uh, one of our prayer requests is from Dr. Armine, who serves in um, a hospital in New York and in a shift of 14 hours, she, she lost five patients. So later on, we'll get to pray for her and to lift up the families that lost the loved ones, especially children who couldn't even go visit them. So, yeah, so we want to welcome you to this webinar, which was hosted by Light of the Comforter. And uh, the whole purpose is exactly for this moment, for us to be able to lift up and encourage and just to envelop people in the love of Christ. at least you're muted oh am i muted thank you did you guys hear anything i said or <laughs> okay After all right yeah, after the, the announcement of the, the Light of the Comforter Ministries, that's where I kind of got cut off. Okay, thank you, Maria. So um, the whole purpose is exactly for these moments where we need each other. We need to, to encourage and uplift one another. And for us to see, even in these tough times that we're facing death, um, financial difficulties, and going through anxieties and stress and all of these things that are happening is to know that there's a platform that God had already prepared and had already commissioned in, in order for us to be able to go and share his love and his hope and his joy and to say that he's a faithful God and that whatever is happening around us is not going to bring us down, but God is going to be glorified in this because whatever the enemy tried to use us for evil, he will turn it into good. So we just honor and welcome our incredible father our holy spirit and jesus to step into this place and into this time father we thank you lord we thank you that we even before we knew all of these things are going to happen you had already put it on reverend annie's heart to prepare this platform because you have a heart for your people you are so close to them whenever they need you lord i just welcome you may you take control over this platform lord and may you take charge of our mouths and may you flow out of our hearts father may from the abundance of our hearts that is tapped into your kingdom let the river of god flow without any limitation or any blockage we say come and yes and i meant to all of your promises father I just wanted to remind you that this is recorded and it's going to be on social media as if ever you do not want your name or your picture or your voice to be seen. You can just turn off, uh, you put yourself on mute or turn off your camera. However, you can still hear us. Hopefully I will make a mistake and mute myself. Then you guys can say, <laughs> Elisa, mute yourself. So um, uh, what I wanted to do is that I wanted, I know that I, I did a small prayer, but I wanted, um, my sister Rita to just lead us into prayer. And we have an amazing guest today, sister Hava Johnson. I'm so excited to hear what God has put on your heart. Annie had shared it exactly a little bit of what the father had put on your heart. And I'm like, okay, father, I want to hear it and I want to receive it. So Rita, if you can just lead sure. us in prayer and sister Hava, after that, you can just start to share whatever it is on your heart. Sure. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise your holy name, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your love, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are covering all of us, Lord, with your, the banner of your love, Lord. We praise your holy name, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bow to your name, Lord. We bow to your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this time, for this session, Father God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are in charge. You are the cornerstone, Lord, here. And um, I bring your daughter, your precious daughter, Hawa, Father God, to you. Lord, I pray that, Lord, let, this, um, let your um, power and sound mind 
and love rest upon her, Father God, upon her lips, Lord, and let your wisdom guide her, Father God. And whatever you have put in her heart, Father God, uh, prepare our hearts to receive it, Father God, and to apply it in our lives, Father God, in Jesus' name I pray. Protect her, Father God, and protect all of us, Father God, from all attacks of the enemy, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, I pray for your double shield of protection around us, around all of us, Father God, around this session, Father God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, you loose your angels around us, Father God, around us, Father God. And Lord, let your angels uh, drive away the enemy from us in the name of Jesus, from our families, Father God. Lord, I pray, Father God, give each and every one of us, Lord, impart a fresh revelations, Father God, fresh revelations from your throne father god in jesus name i pray lord in jesus name i pray amen and blessings my sisters i am so honored and so excited and so fired up just to be amongst my family um we are a family in god um amen Christ, and it's just a blessing to be invited and reconnected in family. Um, I know that this time that we are walking through is so dark. Um, we see mm. um, the pain. We just heard about the death of so many patients that the doctor in New York had to suffer. We see um, what's happening in the news. We hear and can literally feel the darkness that's around if we go out. Um, but yet and still, in the midst of darkness, there's still a word and a light from the Lord. Amen. Um, yes. And, um, and you know that as warriors, we are committed to hearing exactly what the Lord is saying and being in a position to do what the Father is saying for us in this dark time. So, of course, during this time, I've always asked Abba, Lord, what are you saying how do we move? What are you doing? What would you have us to do as your intercessors, those that stand in the gap for this world? And he spoke um, a scripture that just completely speaks to where we are, um, and it speaks to who we are as intercessors and who God is as our Abba, our Papa, our Daddy, and the Lord of this world. And he gave me Psalm 24, the entire psalm, and it reads, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, all they that dwell in it, the world and those who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and it established it upon the streams and rivers. Who may ascend unto the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to what is false, nor has sworn oaths deceitfully. It is he that shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of our salvation. This is the generation of those who diligently seek him and require him as their greatest need, who seek his face even as Jacob did, say lie, pause and reflect on that. Lift up your head. It's dark. It's mm. weary. But lift up your head. The burden is heavy. Death is surrounding us. But lift up your head and be ye lifted up ancient doors that the king of glory may come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. It's dark, but lift up your head, O ye gates, and lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? He declares his name again, the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And it is he that rules over all creation with his heavenly armies. And this morning, this day, I know I hear the Lord just saying that we may be the generation of those who diligently seek him, no matter what it looks like, 
no matter what it feels like, no matter what it's surrounding us like, but that we may be though the generation of those who diligently seek him and require him as our greatest need, who seek his face. Obviously, we know what the news is saying. We know what the World Health Organization is saying about this pandemic. We know what the CDC is saying. We know what our state and national leaders are saying. We even know what the president is saying. But in the midst of this, what is God saying? He's saying something. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We are affected by what we hear. Our faith is built in what we hear, and it is increased by what we hear. It's strengthened by what we hear. His word says, for the word of God is alive, it's active, it's living, it's quick. It's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces the darkness, and it even pierces to the division of soul and spirit. It pierces through our joints and our marrows. It is a discerner of our thoughts and the intentions of our heart. The word of God is quick. It's quick. It goes ahead of us. It goes ahead of us. The word is already ahead of this pandemic. It's already in the future. He says he is the author and the finisher. He is the beginning and the end. He is the alpha and the omega. The word is able to speak into a situation even before we arrive into that situation. So God, what are you saying? In this shutdown, what are you saying to us individually as prayer warriors, as intercessors? In this shutdown, what are you saying to our families? In this shutdown, what are you saying to the body of Christ? What are you saying to the universal church, not to individual churches, not to denominations, but what are you saying to the universal church, not to just the church in America? This pandemic is global, so there's a global message. God, what are you saying to the church as a whole, to the body of Christ? We are your ecclesia not a denomination. We're not your individual church. We are your ecclesia. So in this shutdown, what are you saying to us as a nation and to us as a global world? There is a message from our Abba, our Papa, our Daddy, that crosses the lines of denominations. It crosses the lines of nations. It crosses the lines of individual churches. It crosses the line of our individual ministry agendas. It crosses the line of us individually as as intercessors. There is a message that Abba is speaking to his universal church. Christ is coming for a universal bride. He's not coming for an American bride. He's not coming for an Italian bride. He's not coming for an African-American bride. He's not coming for a Caucasian bride. He's coming for the bride, a universal bride. One bride, that's it. He's not coming for just a head. He's not coming for just the arms. He's not coming for just the hands. He's not coming for just the feet. He's not coming for just the mouths, those that are prophets. He's coming for a universal bride, a universal church. And that church is a church that is without spot, without blemish. Hear what the Father is saying, that he may present to himself He is the one who does the cleansing, that he would present to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that his universal church, his ecclesia, should be holy and without blemish. Um, There was another word in Ezekiel 22 when the Lord was looking to destroy the nation. He said, again, he spoke to Ezekiel. He said, again, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to this land, you are a land that has not been cleansed or rained on in the day of wrath. There is a conspiracy amongst the princes, amongst the principalities within her that are like a roaring lion waiting to tear its prey. They devour the people. They take treasures and precious things. They make widows. They take the lives of those that are family and those that are husband and making widows of those that are in their priest. 
the ones that I assign, their priests do violence. They disrupt my law. They profane that which are, is holy. They do not no longer distinguish between what is holy and what is common. They teach that there, there, there is no difference between the unclean and the clean. They shut their eyes to what is happening. They fail to observe my Sabbath. They are profaned among them. Her officials within her are like wolves, tearing their prey. They shed blood and kill people to make unjust gain. Her prophets whitewash the truth. Their deeds for them now become false. I look at it now as it, it was lying divinations. They say that this is what the Lord says when I have not spoken. The people of the land practice extortion and commit robbery. They oppress the poor and needy and mistreat the foreigner, denying them justice. But I, the Lord, looked for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand in the gap to, on behalf of the land so I would not destroy it. But I found no one. So prayer warriors, what is the Lord saying to us? We stand today in the role of standing in the gap that as the Lord looks before he destroys the nation, he says, I'm looking for someone to stand in the gap before he destroys the church and level it, the body. He says, I'm looking for someone to stand in the gap. Many times the direction of a nation and even the direction of where the church goes lies not in the hands of the governors. It doesn't lie in the hand of the president. It doesn't lie in the hand of kings. It doesn't even lie in the hands of pastors, but it lies in the hands of mighty intercessors. Mm -hmm. Our That's times right. are definitely Hallelujah. in God's hand. In his mm -hmm. divine counsel and wisdom, he chooses to partner partner our father chooses to partner and give Amen. authority to us intercessors that we would stand in the gap for this nation that we would stand in the gap for the body for the church Hallelujah. That we would stand in the gap for the bride as intercessors we carry a unique combined anointing we stand as kings and priests, a yes. combined anointing that's been delegated to us by the Father. As kings, we have authority to subdue the earth and exercise the authority of Christ over all demonic opposition. As priests, we have the power to stand in heavenly places. God says we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and our identity as Christ, kings and priests allows us to access the throne of grace to stand in the gap, to not only receive strength to be able to stand in the gap, but also to receive instruction and divine blueprint to administrate the Lord's will in the earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, but it is through the delegated partnership and delegated authority that God has given us as intercessors. So let's stand in the gap for the bride of Christ. Let's stand in the gap for our nation. Let's stand in the gap for the global world. When it ends in Revelation 22, the Lord says the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our God and his Christ and his kingdom will have no end. So arise, shine, your light has come. And the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people. But the Lord God Almighty rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 3. This is the heart of of the bridegroom, father, friend for his bride. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Wow. Amen. How powerful is that? <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm still shaking and vibrating because of those verses for us to rise up and to shine. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I know how about you started right away. You jumped into it. I just wanted to know if you could take a couple of minutes just to introduce yourself where, where God has put you and how you're serving him, because I know that you have many different talents. So can you please share with us exactly? Amen. Well, I am first, of course, a daughter of the King, a daughter of the King. I'm also a wife and a mother. Um, my deepest passion is intercession. It's in standing in the gap. It is the foundation of um, not only my personal life, but the life of um, my family. By um, profession, I'm a pediatric nurse. I work at um, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Um, I also am a founder of a nonprofit ministry um, for women, and it basically um, focuses on empowering women to know their identity in Christ, um, know that they are equipped to move in the calling of Christ, and know that they are um, equipped to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am from Williamstown, New Jersey, and that's where I reside. Amen. So what would you say since you are actually, uh, you are practicing it right in the hospital since you're serving there, how do you bring the, the light of God and as being a prayer warrior into your workplace? Um, it's amazing. God has just given a special grace and a favor um, upon um, the ministry in the hospital. Um, I serve on a rehabilitation floor where uh, children have experienced um, traumatic injury um, from cancer to traumatic uh, motor vehicle accidents where they're no longer to, um, able to operate operate as normal. So it's pretty devastating. And during devastation times, though, family's heart are so open to mm -hmm. the Lord. It's usually like, it's almost as if God uses the darkness to draw people to him. So you notice that in times of darkness, people's hearts are more open for the light to shine. They're more open for comfort. They're more open for um, joy. They're more open to hear words of love and support. So God uses um, that and able to open me to communicate his love. Every parent seeing a, a traumatic injury wants to feel the love of God, um, not only for them, but for uh, their children. So in experiencing um, and delivering support to them, most oftentimes I'll ask, can I pray for you? And their hearts are already open. Nine times out of 10, it's immediately yes. And so that's a great open door, not only for um, evangelism, but for ministering the love of God um, to parents and to children that are in need. Amen. I remember when I was, when the Lord had asked me to go to a children's hospital, actually I was in the intensive care unit and I would just see all these children just, you know, in mm -hmm. tubes and everything. And uh, just to, to be able to hold them and to rock them and to pray over them. A lot of times I, it's not easy because I'm from Montreal and uh, basically you cannot mix religion with anything else. So, so it just needs to be, you know, incognito. And just to see how they would just respond, even by you holding them and just showering them with the love of God over them, how their lives and their countenance would change. And it's so important, as you said, for us to bring into that darkness, there are some people who receive it and some people, unfortunately, they don't. But we just need to be always ready to be able to give that to whoever is open. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I know in the chat box, um, there was a comment that was said that Isaiah 40, 11 by our sister Silva saying that he tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs. He lands his flock like a shepherd, uh, gathers in, in his arms and carries them close to his heart. And as prayer warriors, 
who are right now, since we're on the front line, I know that we need to rise up and we need to shine. But those who are weary, how would you or what would you say to encourage them? Because a lot of times we are fighting and and sometimes it becomes weary because we're we're getting the darts so much. How is it that we can just change that and we can um, overcome that? What would you be able to say? Um, I think gatherings and groups like this are essential um, for uh, prayer warriors, especially those of us that are consistently on the front line, to be able to go into a space um, where we can release, a space where we can um, get bandaged up. It's almost like when a military soldier is on the front line. They have to go back to home base at times That's to right. get bandaged up. And they have to go back to home base to get water, to get refreshing. Um, there's got to always be a time where we as intercessors go back to home base, um, whether it's a support group, whether you discover a home base within yourself, times of solitude. I, in studying Jesus, he is our greatest model. There's been mm. times when he had to leave the flock and leave the disciples and leave them to go alone to be with the father to get refilled if christ who is our god all powerful had to do that we as intercessors need to be able to be intentional and be strategic and getting times of refreshing so that we can go back on the on the front line so for me personally i create times where it's just i have to create almost like a personal retreat where I have to be alone with God to get mm. refreshed and I'm not interceding. I'm basically, Father, what would you have, you know, what are you saying to me? And he yes. refuses me up during those times to go back on the front line. Amen. So do you think maybe we can take a few minutes and create this environment to be a home base to whoever is joining us. And because since it's going to go on social media, we don't know when God is going to allow one of us to stumble upon this video. And it could be that just for them for a moment to have a home base, if they don't know where to go or which group to seek, at least let us become a group for them on the social media. So if you can lead us into prayer with that for us to become a home base for those who are in need. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you. Hey, Yarabasho. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, O oh God. Thank you for the invitation, O oh God, into your heart this day, O oh God. The invitation, O oh God, into your very heart. Thank you, Father, for creating a space, O oh God, where we can engage you, O oh God, and you can engage us, God. Thank you, O oh God, for this space of communion, O oh God, with you, O oh God. You are our greatest desire and our greatest need, O oh God. You are our greatest refreshing, O oh God. You are a water, a well, O oh God, that never runs dry, O oh God. You are are refreshing. You are an ever-living fountain, oh God, that springs within us, oh Father. And Father, we need you, oh God. You are our greatest desire, God. We invite you into our hearts, oh God, just like you invited us into yours, Father. Father, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that your word says your grace is sufficient for us, oh God, that when we're weak, oh God, that's when you step in, or you are made strong. So right now, God, in our places of weariness, God, we ask that your grace would be sufficient, God, that in our areas of tiredness, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would strengthen us, Father. You said, do not be weary in well-doing, oh God, but in due season, oh God, we will reap if we faint not, oh God. And some of us may have been fainting, God. So Father, we need you, oh God, to refill us, God. God. We need you, oh God, to strengthen us, oh God. We need you, oh God, to just fill our hearts, oh God, with more of you. We stir up your Holy Spirit spirit within us. We stir up your Holy Spirit, oh God, that is all filling and all refreshing right now in the name of Jesus, that we may have the strength, oh God, to be able to do what you called us to do, to stand in the gap, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. We thank you for the grace that you have given us, oh God, as intercessors, oh God, the grace that you have given us, oh God, as warriors, oh God, but we know, oh God, that we can't do this without you. So Holy Spirit, you know that it's not by our might nor by our strength, but it's by your spirit. 
spirit. God, we agree with that. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, strengthen us, oh, God, so that we may be able to run like a, a flint, oh, God. Strengthen us, oh, God, that we may be able to soar like eagles, oh, God, far above every principality, oh, God, far above spiritual wickedness, oh, God, far above, oh, God, high things and high places, oh, God. We thank you this day, God. We thank you, oh, God, for this space and this community that you have um, created for us, Father. We pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh, God, that you would give us spaces and times like this, oh, God, where we can come and not only commune with you, oh, God, but where we can commune with one another and gain strength, oh, God, to be able to go back and do the work that you have called us to do. We thank you for times of refreshing and times of retreating and times of resetting, oh, God, and times of Selah and before you, oh, God, and times of seeking your face, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Your face is where we get your strength, God. Your face is, oh, God, where we get instruction, God. Your face is where we get wisdom, oh, God. Your face is where we get understanding. Your face Face is where we get uh, just might, God. Your face is where we get strength, God. So we thank you this day, this time, this moment, God. Strengthen us, oh God, so that we may be able to strengthen those that are lost, oh God, and those that don't know how to come to you, oh God. Strengthen us, oh God, so that we be able to walk the way you have called us to walk and to move the way you have called us to move and to pray the way you have called us to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this time of refilling. We thank you, oh God. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we are staying in his presence, if there is any prayer requests, please feel free to write it in the chat box. I just wanted to take the time and to pray for Dr. Armine right now. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, that Dr. Armine has sacrificed her life so that she can be in the front line, Lord, to serve other people. Lord, even though it is overwhelming, Lord, even though she's seeing so many deaths around her, Lord, within 14 hours, there was five deaths, Lord, and that there are children who cannot even go and visit their parents or their loved one's father. Lord, your word says that you wept Jesus, you wept. You were moved by compassion, Lord. And I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that today, Lord, you are weeping with those who are weeping, Lord. You are wiping away their tears, oh God. I just pray, Daddy, that you will just go and comfort them, Lord, that even among this thing that it does not make sense, even though they are going through struggles, Lord, that they don't understand how to go. Get away from it, Lord. But I pray, Lord, that you will be the light. That you will be the comforter. Holy Spirit, you're the one who comforts us. I pray right now. I bring the whole city of New York at your feet, Father. And I just pray, Lord, that your dove will just come and hover over them, Lord, like a blanket, Father. I pray that you will just flow your peace and your comfort among them, O oh God. Father, we rebuke the spirit of infirmity and the virus of COVID. We command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And Father, we replace it with your presence. Lord, as people are rising up, Lord, when you see the doctors on top of the roofs and they're singing a way maker, you are our way maker. Father, I pray that you will make a way out to those who are desperate right now for your touch. Lord, you are ever so present in time of trouble. You deliver them from all of their troubles. Lord, come and visit them, Lord. I pray for Dr. Armine, Lord, that you will just let her feel your presence, Father. 
I pray, Lord, that there will be a shift. Lord, I pray that her eyes will start seeing the heaven inside of each and every one of them, Lord. I pray that she will strengthen her, Lord, the way you ministering angels came and ministered to you. May you minister to her, Father. I pray for a hedge of protection over her. And I pray, Father, that every time she goes into work, Lord, that there will be no more deaths, Father. We command that they will live, that they shall become alive, and that you will give them a life and an abundant life, Father. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that this will come, this pandemic will come to an end soon, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, that even though among all of this chaos, you are true. You are faithful. You are compassionate. You are loving. You said you will make a way out in the wilderness, that you will make a highway in the desert. And therefore, Father, just the way that out of the rock you were able to bring water for more than millions of people of Israel when they were passing over, Lord, I pray that you will open up your rock. May the water of Christ flow from your throne, Lord, and it will go and satisfy those who are hungry and thirsty, Father, for you, Lord. May they May they see your glory, may they see your power, and may they see your love for them, Lord. I just pray this all in your precious name, Father. I glorify you and I exalt you, Father, that no matter what happens, you are, you are our rock. You are the one that our feet stands upon, that it doesn't shake, Lord, when the storms come. And I thank you, Father. As Sister Habba was saying, we are your children. You want to partner with us, Father. And Father, we want to do everything that you have called us to do, Lord. Thank you for this time, Lord. May you be glorified. In your precious name, I pray. Amen. I'm just going to see the chat box. Um. I have from Sister Sona asking, please let's pray for Julieta. She lost her sister in a car accident many years ago. She saw how her sister was killed in front of her eyes. Her sister was a believer, but she believed after the trauma. She needs prayers. She can't cope with life, has fears, and is even afraid that something bad will happen to her or her loved ones. Um, if Rita, if you would be able to pray to take that prayer request, and then please keep it coming, whatever you have, whatever is on your heart that you, either you want to share or if you want to, you need encouragement. Uh, Sister Hava is here. She is a, a fiery daughter of God and she will be able to pray. So please do not hesitate. So, uh, so um, sorry, Rita, if you can go ahead and pray. I'm going to still look into the chat box to see if there is any other. Sure. We thank you, Lord. Um, Lord, we come before you, Heavenly Father, and we lift up, um, Father God, your precious daughter, Julieta, Father God. Um, we pray that, Lord, um, whatever she went through, a trauma, Father God, we pray that, Lord, the healing uh, light of your glory, Father God, will flow uh, through her mind, through her emotions, Father God, through her subconscious mind, Father God. And I pray uh, and wash her, Father God, wash all the um, uh, thoughts and the images, Father God, um, there is uh, tormenting her, Father God. I pray that, Lord, um, you deliver her, Father God, from all um, the evil of the enemy that is holding her in, in that bondage, Father God. I pray that, Lord, you strengthen her, Father God, uh, strengthen her uh, inner man, Father God, so she will be able to... Um, move forward with her life father god in jesus name i pray and give her the grace father god so she will be able to lay it down uh, at your feet father god in jesus name lord i pray father god that you counsel her you comfort her holy spirit 
Father God. You are the greatest counselor, Father God. I pray that, Lord, you give her the peace that surpasses all understanding, Father God, at this moment, Lord. I pray that, Lord, you breathe your life upon her, upon her mind, Father God, upon her emotions, Father God, and release her, Father God, from this trauma, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray complete healing over Juliet's Father God, over her emotions, over her mind, Father God. I pray complete healing and wholeness in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It's so good to be in the presence of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Sister, uh, have a um, I just wanted to know if you could pray because since we are wrapping up our whole month uh, meeting support groups that we held from Monday to Friday, today is the last one that we're having. So if you can just um, pray for each and leader and everybody that heard it and the video that is going to be posted on the social media also that whoever needs uh, to hear it so that the Lord will bring them to upon this uh, videos if you can pray for that i would appreciate it very much father we thank you god we just honor and glorify you god we thank you oh god for this wonderful support group that you have created oh father god we thank you oh god for the grace of oh god and the anointing oh god and the holy spirit oh god that flows so freely and so powerfully within this group father we thank you, O oh God, for every leader, O oh God, that you have anointed, appointed, and commissioned, O oh God, for this very work, O oh Father. We thank you, O oh God, that it does not yet appear what they shall be, O oh God, that eyes have not seen, God, nor ears heard, O oh God, nor has it entered even to the heart of man all that you have prepared for them, O oh Father. We thank you, O oh God, for them growing in the grace, O oh God, that you have called them to, Father. We thank you, O oh God, for the completion of a Good work, oh God. We know, oh God, that you who have begun this work, God, you are able to bring it to, into full completion, oh God. So we thank you, oh God, for the manifestations, oh God, of more groups to come out of this, oh God. We thank you, oh God, just for the manifestation of more vision, oh God, and more work that is to be done, God. God, you said greater works, oh God, than this shall they do. So thank you, oh God, for the great work, oh God, that you have put in their hands, anoint their hands afresh oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, as they go to plant and to pull and to uproot and to root things and to plant things in the garden of that you have called them to, Father. Thank you, oh God, for each grace, oh God, that you have given these leaders, God. Thank you, oh God, for the vision, oh God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray, oh God, for all those that are viewing this on the media, oh God, or social media, oh Father, we pray, oh God, that you yourself, oh God, by your mighty hand, oh God, would touch hearts, oh God, those that don't know you, oh God, somehow would view this, oh God, that they would be drawn to a place in you, oh God, that those, oh God, that have a calling, oh God, and have an anointing and a grace to play, oh God, that they would be drawn to you, oh God, you do the drawing, so we lift up the name of yes. Jesus, oh God, you said that if you're lifted up, that you will draw all men unto you, so we Amen. lift up the name of Jesus. We proclaim Jesus over the light of the comforter. We proclaim Jesus over these um, groups, oh God. We proclaim Jesus, oh God, over the support. We proclaim Jesus over every leader. We proclaim Jesus over every person that yes. is in this line right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. You said the name of the Lord Jesus is a strong tower, the righteous one in, and we are safe. So thank Amen. you, oh God, for safety that's in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, and we thank you, oh God, that you will lift up, that you are lifted up, and that you Amen. will fall. We thank you for adding to the kingdom of God because of this. Amen. Adding to the kingdom yes. of God because of this. Adding to the kingdom of God because of this. And we give you the glory. You alone have done this, and you alone will continue to do this. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Sister Haba. Uh, I know that uh, Sister Crystal is here. I just wanted to know because, Sister Haba, you bless us so much with your presence 
I'm sorry, I don't know why the video was off. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you blessed us so much, you encouraged us. And what we wanted to do is that we wanted to pray for you. And I wanted to ask if Sister Crystal can pray for you. Um, I don't know if she's available. I'm putting her on the spot. <laughs> yeah. If not, then I, I, I would have the honor of praying for you. So I'll just, I, I don't know if Crystal Williams is able to hear me or not. While I can check, uh, I have, um, until I get a response from her, I have another person saying, can you pray for parents having difficult or handicapped children? Uh, let us pray for all those who lost their jobs, all those who do not see future and do not have money to take care of basic things. Absolutely. So Rita, if you can uh, take the Silva Koshafsian prayer, and I'll take Garin's prayer. And then what we will do is that I will be able to pray for Sister Hava uh, and to honor her and to bless her. So, Father, we thank you, Lord. We are praying for parents who have children who have needs that are special than others, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will give them peace. May you give them wisdom, Lord. May they know, Lord, how to speak to their children. I pray, Lord, let there be a shift in their children's attitudes and the way of, uh, of their conducts, Lord, just so that they will know who you are, Lord. I pray that the love that they're going to pour upon those children, Lord, is going to be able to open up their hearts and minds to you and to be developed in the way they need to be developed. We command their bodies to come into alignment with the word of God. What you have created, Lord, it is good. And whatever the enemy is trying to askew or change, Lord, I pray that it will just come into alignment with you, O oh God. I just pray for patience and wisdom and guidance. And I pray if they need help, Lord, may you bring the right people around them to assist them, to help them, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, I know that it is not easy for the children. I pray the same thing for them, Lord, that you will assist them, that they will be able to share and say what they really feel, that they will be, have, they will, will be able to easily say everything that they're going through, Lord. Please minister to them, Lord. May your touch be upon them, Lord. Let there be a shift in their lives and let there be a change and that they will see the glory of God arising in their midst and that they will see what you have accomplished, Lord, on the cross, that we can live that manifested, powerful, resurrecting body of Christ, the blood that gives us victory over all things, Lord. We just submit all things into your hand, Lord, and we thank you in advance. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, um, we come to you, Lord, and we bring all those, Lord, who, who have lost uh, their jobs, Father God, who, uh, through this pandemic, Father God, through this chaos that is going on, Father God. Lord, we, we bring them all to you, Father God, all the families, Father God. They are struggling, Father God, financially, Father God, and it, um, it is uncertain, Father God, uh, and they don't have any provision, Father God. I pray that, Lord, you are a God who mm. provides. You are Jehovah Jireh, Lord. Mm. You, uh, you will never leave them nor forsake them, Father God. And mm. Because your word says, Lord, you will provide. Let your word be manifested in their life, Father God. Those who are struggling financially, Father God. And I pray mm. that, Lord, you open doors of opportunity for them, Father God, that no man can shut, Father God, even through this mm. pandemic, Father God. Because, Lord, uh, you, uh, you provide, um, every day you provide manna, Father God, in, uh, as you provided for the Israelites, Father God. I pray that, Lord, you uh, send your angels, Lord, to bring provision provision into their life, Amen. Father God, supernatural for provision, Father God, in Jesus' name. I pray peace and comfort upon mm -hmm. them, Father God, upon their families, Father God. And I pray that, Lord, uh, among families, Lord, through this um, financial difficulties, Father God, it is hard so many times, Father God, and then can, that can bring conflict um, even into marriages, Father God. I pray that, Lord, you intervene on their behalf, mm -hmm. Father God, and let your peace rule uh, on 
their hearts, Lord, as they trust in you, that you are a God who provides, Father God, always and never, never fails them, Father God. I yes. pray that, Lord, uh, you protect them, Father God. And Lord, I pray that, Lord Jesus, you go before them, open ways of financial blessings to flow through their life, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, Sister Hava, I just wanted to pray for you. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter who was sold out to you, Lord. Have I just see the Lord singing over you? And he's saying, how beautiful you are to him. You are so precious. He will rain on you today. He will flow out of He loves you, he loves you, you are so beautiful to him. Have I my daughter, I have seen your cry. And I will answer them. I thank you, Lord, for who you are in me. He is washing over you. He is washing over you like a cascade. Coming like a wave, coming like a wave and hitting you. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. The Lord loves you. Have I just feel that the Lord is saying that he is taking you into his river. Actually, now the river is flowing into the ocean. And as you were stepping and it was going from your knees to your thighs, to your waist, to your head. But now you have been submerged into his ocean and he is taking you. And he's taking you so far and so wide you could have never imagined. I thank the Lord for you. Father, I thank you, Lord, that everything that she has sown in the winter season, when it was under the ground and it was being fermented, Lord, and nobody was seeing it, Lord, the time has come that it has break forth, Lord, into the ground and out of it. It's coming out a beautiful, exotic flower. That whoever will walk will smell the fragrance of who you are, Jesus, inside of her. And that they will see the splendor, the glory, and the beauty that you have done inside of her life. I bless her, Father. I bless her going and her coming. I bless her season of summer that is here. And I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, as she is going to be paraded by you, how you're going to say, this is my daughter whom I am pleased in and whom I love. You're going to be exalted, for the glory will be yours, Yeshua. Only yours alone, Father. I bless her, and I pray that you will be a hedge of protection around her. May you enlarge her territory. May you enlarge her sphere of influence. And I thank you, Lord, as you are taking her to higher grounds. I see greater angels, bigger angels that are being commissioned over your life as they are taking you to your next level and next season. In your precious name, Father, I pray. 
And I give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory forever and ever to the Lamb who is worthy of his crown, who sits upon his throne, who alone is worthy. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 It's, uh, we have a few minutes left. Um, I'm just going to see in the chats. So, uh, so we have saying, thank you. Love you all, my precious sister. The Lord bless you all. Likewise, Monique, powerful prayers that blesses us. Hallelujah. We have 1 Thessalonians 15, 16 to 18 that says, rejoice always. Pray without season. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And yes and amen, we will rejoice always and continually giving glory to the one who sits on high and who is so good. So we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just want to remind you guys, tomorrow is the last webinar that we're going to be having, and it's going to be on uh, anxiety, depression, and PSTD. Uh, please do not forget to join. It's from 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern, which is the webinar of uh, mental health. So it's the same Zoom ID and the password, as you guys know. Uh, please share. I know that a lot of people are going through these struggles nowadays, and we just want to bring out the word and to share what God has prepared for us, that even though you, are, you might be going through depression, anxiety, stress, whatever it may be, God has a way out for you. You don't need to be where you need to, uh, where you are, but God is taking you to other places. There is hope. There is light and there is victory because of what Christ has done on the cross. And because of that, we can declare that truth today. Love you all. May the Lord continually bless you guys and keep you under his wings. Whoever takes refuge under his wings will always be sheltered and comforted. I love you all. And if there's any other prayer request, if not, I'm just going to ask Rita if you can just cover us in prayer as we go. Love you, have uh, my Love pleasure. You. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this powerful, powerful, powerful session, Lord. It has blessed me, and I'm sure it has blessed all of us, Father God. Lord, as we go, Father God, I pray, Father God, for all the intercessory prayer warriors, Father God, that you cover each and every one of them, Father God, uh, with your uh, hedge of protection, Father God, in Jesus' name. And I pray that, Lord... Um, as they go on, Father God, I pray that, Lord, um, uh, let each and every one of them, Father God, remain faithful, Father God, and let the, your spirit guide them and strengthen them, Father God, and move them forward through the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, for this ministry, the light of the comforter ministry, Father God. We bless this ministry, and Lord, continually use this ministry for your glory to advance your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen and amen. Love you, sisters. Be blessed and thank you. Have a